how we do it. This is Food Comes From Farms, and I'm Ted. I know a guy named Derek, and he invited me to find out just where little pigs come from. So I said, hey, why not? Let's take a look. Well, I took Derek up on his offer. I'm out here at the Sleazer Fertility Center checking out his operation. Hey. Hi, thanks, thanks for coming. For, hey, thanks for having me. It's great. Now, mm. this is what they call a boar stud farm, is that right? That is correct. This is where we take raw semen and turn it into a product that we can deliver to our customers. Interesting. And it all happens right here? That's right. You want to come down and see our operation? This is the lab? Yes, this is the lab. Let's check out the lab. Great. Well, this is where our raw semen comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes in one of these tubes. It comes underground. Okay. And it uh, allows us to uh, not have a runner and keeps it much more temperature controlled. So that's connected right to the barn? Comes yeah, actually to, to our two uh, hmm. stud buildings. And then after we receive it here, we count it on this machine here, which is called a densimeter. Hmm. And it gives us actually how many sperm cells are in each collection. So that literally will determine the number yep. of sperm in yep. that sample. Wow. Absolutely. It uh, uses light to count that. Okay. Um, but we kind of make sure we use technology there to make sure that we do everything uh, to the standards of the industry. Sure. Um, and then we use a phase contrast microscope to analyze each semen, each collection to make sure that it's viable before it goes to our customers. Okay, and that's connected to this monitor here? Yes, that is. Oh, that's yeah, cool. It's a phase contrast man, uh, nice. microscope. Sure, so it's and quality control. You're looking to make sure it's all healthy and good and yes. ready to ship. And so after we get done passing quality control, we come over to our extension where we've extended to the exact number of doses that is required uh, that matched up to the sperm cell count. So you measure it out, and each sample is the same amount. Is that right? Yes. Okay. They all have a certain. They all have 80 mils, mm -hmm. and that allows them to live for seven days in a in a temperature controlled environment. Do you have to freeze it? No, actually everything is fresh. So yeah. we use a refrigerator set at about 60 degrees or so, 61 to 64 oh, degrees. Okay. And that way, we by doing that, we ensure that the product that our customers receive is very viable to help to make sure that they keep the production at max efficiency. Mm -hmm. Sure, good, and it's healthy for the, for the pigs, as we talked yes. about earlier. Yeah, we yeah. reduce the disease possibility mm -hmm. with bringing less live animals onto the farm. That's mm -hmm. why this has really helped uh, uh, even out production uh, through weather changes and also through uh, less animals on farm. Well, it's quite a process. I mean, bringing it in directly from the barn, you don't have to have a runner or anything like that. It gets counted over there on the microscope and then over here and divvied up. Yep, and then we head to the last station over here and we actually extend them into individually do individual doses. And, oh, and then uh, they're sealed up in that machine and yes, uh, shipped uh, out. That's, that's what we do. And so they get the individual product just like this, like you saw at the expo. Well, um, that's pretty interesting. It's clean, it's safe, and uh, it's quality. Yep, that's why we want to make sure we have a real clean product to make sure we keep the biosecurity high and that way we make sure to keep our farms healthy. And so what we'll do is we'll package this up into brown bags and it'll go to our drivers. <laughs> out the door, off to the farm. Yes. Hey, do you think I could go check out where the boars are actually? Absolutely. We can take you out there now. All right, let's head out to the barn. So yeah, boar semen, I'm not afraid to say it. And now that we've seen their uh, product, we're going to go out and meet the boars, the adult male hogs themselves. You know, I've heard boars are not the most warm and cuddly animals in the world. Join us next time to find out. Thank <laughs> you.